All right, we're going to set up a PCA uh, that is epidural administered. So we're going to get our medication. We have the special epidural tubing, which is different from the regular PCA IV tubing. As you can see, the epidural tubing has a yellow color in the tubing as well as has a filter. And the regular PCA tubing that's IV administered does not. So you should be able to tell which one is which. Same process. We're going to take the little Mickey Mouse ear off of this little device here. Just twist it and it comes off. You have your epidural medication. You will spike the bag. All right, you have your PCA. Again, it's set up the same. We have the yellow arrow. Then we have the blue arrow. So the yellow goes by the yellow arrow. And the blue goes here. Tubing goes in front of that lever. This comes all the way down and clamps. Place the PCA here. Put the extra tubing inside. Close and you will lock it. All right, we will turn the PCA on. Now our, order, our orders are for a continuous rate of eight mils an hour uh, with no patient bolus, and this is epidural. So we will hit yes for program, and we want to start a new program. So we will arrow down to new program, yes. We do want a new program, yes and we want to erase the previous prescription. Now, if it requires, some PCAs require a code to go uh, beyond this point, you would enter 94629, which is the zip code for the company, which is on the back of the PCA. So if you are ever asked that code, you just enter 94629. Um, we will leave it um, as unidentified we are continuing it at Mills. The administration route is not IV, it's gonna be epidural. So we're gonna hit no, and it's epi, because we want epidural. If there was a loading dose, if the doctor wrote a loading dose, we would enter it here, but today we don't have a loading dose. We just hit yes. Med limits off, yes. And next, yes. The bag volume is 100 cc, so we'll type in 100, and then yes. And we do want, we want this basal rate to go at eight mils an hour. That's what the doctor ordered, so we will type in eight. So it's eight mils an hour. There will be no patient bolus, so it will leave it at zero, and we will just continue to hit yes all the way through. All right, we need to prime, so we'll hit the prime button, and you have to hold it down to prime.
the prime amount will be somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, three to four mils. Okay, it's primed. We're gonna hit yes to exit. We will get another nurse to verify this information that it is put in correctly. So you get another nurse. You will hit no to review and confirm that all the information is correct. And you hit the yes button to continue through. It's mills, it's epidural, no loading dose, med limits are off. Next, yes. So the bag was primed with uh, 3.6 mils. The rate the patient will receive this epidural is at eight mils an hour. And everything else should be zero. There's no, there's no patient bolus, nothing. It's gonna be eight mils an hour, yes. All right, we would then hook up the end to the patient. Once this is hooked up, um, we would hit the run button and they would be uh, d delivered the eight mils an hour per this machine. Uh, at, we would not need the green button. We could actually take this off and lock it up in the box uh, because we will not need this button. So at this point, we just hit run and they would start the administration of the epidural and it would, uh, patient would receive this at eight mils an hour.